Work is continuing tonight to build a power station on the roof of the London Stock Exchange. It's all part of the preparations for what the city are calling the Big Bang. And as Lance Price reports, getting the electrical equipment onto the roof has taken a very big crane. At 420 feet, it's one of the biggest cranes in the world and the tallest ever seen in London. There were just inches to spare as it scraped past surrounding buildings and was slowly lifted into place. Thanks, James. Young entrepreneurs in the City of London are this morning pondering a challenge from Prince Charles. In a speech to businessmen, he called on the city to share its success with disadvantaged young people. These dealers are the city's hottest properties. They won't talk openly about what they're paid, but it can run to £100,000 a year or more. As well as the confusion Big Bang is likely to bring, there's a new breed of investor, the man in the street. Indeed, now one can simply buy shares over the counter of a shop or bank. Oh, I wanted to know whether you could get me some shares in United Biscuits. It is a dress rehearsal. We do intend for things to go wrong. We will make mistakes, and that we hope that they will sympathise with those mistakes. It is now nine o'clock. So, uh, Peter Corkett, do you have an order? Everybody's got a lot to get used to, and there's plenty that can go wrong. What, but what about TA? My TB? There's traders in there, uh, about that, so about 25 to 30 years old, earning all sorts of money, silly money. Like? <coughs> 100,000 pounds, maybe? Yeah, 100,000 plus. plus. Uh, I think we've certainly learned that uh, we've got a very good system and uh, that we should go into a new world with confidence. Now, we've also learned uh, that people are not answering our telephones and we've got to find out why. There are two types of members of the stock exchange, jobbers and brokers. Here, fraud squad detectives are lectured on the stock exchange itself as they prepare for Big Bang. They fear the confusion that is likely to accompany the city revolution is the perfect climate for the trickster, the shark as he's known. These shark hunters mix with the big institutions, observing their ways and then trying to get inside the mind of the investment con man. It'll be a car park in five years' time. I'll have made a fortune, and that's what I want. In fact, the big bag is the deregulation of the city, and it's all going to happen at 9 o'clock this morning. Out go fixed commissions, out go jobbers, Income market makers and in out goes the sort of cosy club atmosphere that's been here for two centuries. In comes the hurly burly of the real world, and that's hopefully what we'll be seeing at nine o'clock. In just under two hours, at nine o'clock, Big Bang will finally explode in the city of London. What's become known as the Big Bang. But watching this revolution in financial dealing is another relatively new phenomenon the computer fraudster. The computer treasure chest for the fraudster is one of these. It means that at the touch of a button, a computer in Balham, say, can send money to Bermuda, Brisbane or Bahrain. By programming the computer to deliver his fortune to some distant bank account at some distant time, he can literally walk away from the scene of the crime before it's even been committed. And he might go away, leave the company, go abroad, go away and wait, go anywhere. Sit at home, go to bed, get run over, sit in hospital. And then, at a certain date and time, he having programmed it, the computer will do it all for him. And all he's got to do is go somewhere else and pick it up. That could be anywhere. Anywhere. And I want a love that lingers And is stronger through and through So I'm gonna cross my fingers That I 
find the boy to love me.